Welcome back, Helldivers. It seems every time there's a new war bond or video for Helldivers 2, I am away from my computer, or like today, I'm also still a little sick. But we're going to push through and get through this for democracy's sake. So let's first take a look at the trailer for the new Democratic Detonation Premium War Bond. <laughs> So the new blog post that follows along with this trailer says Helldivers 2 gets an explosive new war bond on April 11th with this amazing image right here of some new armor. It says make the biggest bang ever with the democratic detonation premium war bond. Noble patriots of super earth, the time for stealth is over. Finally, a new Helldivers 2 premium war bond has been deployed to all fighting units on front line across the galaxy on April 11th. Code name. Democratic detonation. This is such a wonderful photo right here. This concoction of chaos is packed with explosive weapons, fierce armor, super slick capes, and sweet emotes. So let loose and make the biggest bang since the dawn of time to blow up the bugs, melt the machines, and ignite the raging fires of liberty. Amazing. So let's look at the new weapons here. First is the BR-14 Adjudicator Rifle. Delivers righteous judgment to your enemies with accuracy. This armor penetrating assault rifle is best used against smaller groups. I know a lot of these weapons have been found from leaks. Here on the channel, I don't really cover leaks, so I have seen some of this stuff, but I haven't talked about it yet. So this is just really exciting for me, even just alone, to, to finally see this stuff for real. The R36 Eruptor Rifle. Keep your distance. This bolt action. Rifle fires jet-assisted shells that explode shrapnel in all directions upon impact. All directions, even your face. And finally, yes, the CB9 exploding crossbow. Kaboom! Enjoy powerful exploding bolts that dish out max damage upon direct impact. Gravity must be accounted for when aiming. This thing looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to try this out. Secondary weapons and utility booster, the thermite grenade. This little beauty can stick to surfaces before burning up to a toasty 2000 degrees Celsius. This looks amazing. I can't wait to use it, especially alongside the flamethrower. The grenade pistol does what it says on the label, a pistol that fires grenades. Don't forget to reload between shots though. This will be interesting to see how much this is actually used inside the game. Expert extraction pilot booster. Need to get out of a jam fast. This booster lowers the time it takes for the extraction shuttle to reach the extraction beacon. Home in time for dinner. This actually does sound really great. This is one that I think that I want to try out and use. Armor, such an amazing photo here. Great work to the team. The CE-27 Groundbreaker Medium Armor. The ground is just another obstacle that hasn't been cleared. The CE-07 Demolition Specialist, which is light armor. Originally worn by lunar terraformers, this suit can withstand rapid changes in pressure, heat, and personal velocity. And finally, the FS-55 Devastator, the heavy armor of the set. Domestic versions of this armor allow colonial farmers to safely plant crops and mines side by side while staying in one piece. Here it says, of course, we always accessorize your choice of armor with brand new capes, Harbinger of True Equality, Eagle's Fury, or Freedom's Tapestry as you mix and match your lethal loadout of liberation. So this is rolling out on April 11th. It doesn't say here specifically what the armor does. I think I heard somewhere though that it helps with explosion resistance, but we shall see. I'm sure you can find that information out there. This is looking great, really loving the updates that we're getting to the game. I was really a little worried at first that we were gonna actually get a new war bond every month. I thought that's that seems like a lot every month. You know, most of these live service games do every three months or even four months is a new season, but I really am enjoying these kind of smaller updates with some new armor and weapons every one month. I think it's just great. Looking really forward to playing out with these new toys. I'll see you out there on the battlefields and remember, 
go spread democracy.